I'll show you a little bit more detail of yesterday. I added a uh, placeholder text in the user registration page. Um, so this stuff's a little bit boring because you're not really seeing a lot of the insides of, of Molly Match. So I'm going to run my um, server. And what it does is it gives you the localhost address that you can copy and paste. And I have it up in Mozilla Developer, which is something I've been, I started to use more just because the, uh, it behaves a little bit more predictable. Um, so you can see your code and, you know, inspect it for any, you know, to see what's wrong. Um, I, I usually use Chrome, um, but it doesn't seem to clear the cache. So whenever I do an update, I have to manually go to the history and clear it, which is pretty annoying. Um, there's another thing too, like under, I think network, um, it's a little bit easy. Well, it's, it's definitely easier, uh, to track this stuff compared to Chrome, because if you go to Chrome, I believe it doesn't, um, keep the stuff in there. Like when you click on it, I, I don't remember exactly what it is. Like it was a couple months ago, but I noticed like, I don't really like how that behaves. So I, I switched over to Google or to a uh, Mozilla developer. Um, so over here, you can see the login page does not have the placeholder text. Um, but we, I did fix the, the sign up page so you can see where it says enter your email, create handle, create a password. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add, uh, is, is to add that stuff to the login page. Our login page is a little different because, uh, we, uh, kind of jerry rigged some stuff in, in Jingo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say that. Like it, it's it's more of like we we we're doing a lot of overrides. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just deploy or do a pull request um, through GitHub just to kind of show you. I mean, if you're really curious about this, but to show you how I um, merge stuff and and get the site up to date. So let me go back to my browser here. So yeah, here we are in Chrome. Um, so what I did, I, I went to my branch called input form, which I, you just saw in the BS code. And then I hit the pull request. Usually I will assign somebody over here to do, you can't see their names, but, um, for them to review it first, but um, I'm going to do this. It's fine. So I'm going to do a merge. I'm going to confirm it. Now it's um, in master, so that means I can get that all ready for our actual website. So like if you look here, under user sign up, there's no placeholder text because it's not on their server yet. So I'm going to go back to VS Code and let's see, get checkout origin master, oops. Get checkout master. Okay, get fetch. Get pool. And then, as you can see, like it, it's pulling down the updates that it did with the the forms that pi. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that too. So, you so Jingo's weird. Like, so this you see it says login.html. Um, that would be this page over here. Let me show you. That's that page, login.html. Um, and you can see like the input forms not in there. And all of these, you got these little, I forget what they call it, like objects. Um, I'm pulling from here, most of it. And you can see I added for the sign up page, placeholder, enter your email. These are called widgets. Um, another thing I can show you that uh, this stuff isn't glamorous. Um, we do a lot of Google searches, so you can tell like my next thing is override Jingo's default form. Um, whatever, what you do, you, you uh, if something doesn't work, you just break it just a tiny bit. 
and uh, troubleshoot it. And then you just keep going. That's all you do. You break stuff and fix it. Okay, I'm trying to remember what I was going to do. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and deploy this. Me. Get the, so we have a, a different command. Um, I, sh I can probably show that off a little bit. So I'm going to show you our secret stuff. So I made a wiki. Um, because we have a lot of breaks in between, like we, you know, like we'll be gone for a bit and then we'll forget. And so, uh, you can't, I think you have to have a subscription to create a wiki on GitHub, but it's, it's very, it's, it's useful. It really helps us out. Um, you can get a little sneak peek of the, of the mollies here. Let me see what I put over here on that page. Um, oh, you know what? It's probably under traits. <laughs> These are some of the pictures my, my kid made. When we're coming up with uh, ideas. Um, this is something I'm going to update because i got to update the artwork. But you can kind of see. I really like the line art um, of, my, of my friend that she created. It looks really cool. These are the old um, drawings. Uh, the collar is pretty wild looking just because that's just placeholder color. Um, that's how, you know, you can, we can kind of get an idea of what everything looks like, but all this stuff is old artwork. All right. So I'm going to go to deploying because this is, uh, what we're doing here. Um, So yeah, so we're doing Gamma site now, now instead of the uh, oops, the other um, what was it? I think it was just called I think it was just site or maybe beta. I don't remember. <laughs> it, it's like a if you take a break from this, like I always I always forget. So then you go into deploy. Oh, let me make sure I'm recording this. Okay. Okay. And then I'll just paste that in there. So that's going. It's going to take a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to wear different shirts. This is a cheesy face, um, which is cheesy face brand on Twitter. And if you sell t-shirts, let me know. I'll buy one and I'll wear it for, for these little videos. Um, I'm going to, I have a hard time like keeping these videos short, especially when I'm recording through OBS instead of my phone. Um, if I record from my phone, um, I can only do 45 seconds, which is, you know, maybe a good thing because I ramble a lot. All right. So I'm going to go and get this prepped here. So I'm opening up mollymatch.com. And it's still deploying. But yeah, the next thing is adding uh, placeholder text into the user form. Um, we, uh, you know, I can show you a little bit of our Trello too, just just because while I'm waiting. Um, we have yeah, this is actually for like j really just for my my spouse and I, um, the two other members that are on here. Um, we mainly communicate through Discord. It's a, just a little bit easier, and I'm trying not. I don't want to overwhelm everybody with having, um, you know, a ton of stuff to go through. But I'm trying to see what the biggest thing is that we're trying. Really, I think it's we're doing the market, which is what what we're working on. And I actually need to update the Trello cards. Uh, so we have password password reset for users is done. Let's put it down here. Um, we, uh, <laughs> we were arguing over a shopping cart. So like, if you go to like OpenSea, um, they actually have a shopping cart instead of just, you know, click the buy button. I, I prefer the other way of just buying, you know, clicking a button that says buy for the, the NFT. Um, cause there's, you know, you want to be able to get it as, right away. Um, I do like having an option of a shopping cart for, second market stuff so like if you're reselling your cat and you want to compare traits i think it'd be really cool to be able to select 
two, you know, or say four cats that you want to breed, select them all at once and then, you know, throw them in the shopping cart. So we're working on that where um, we want the item to be locked and then uh, we're going to, we just install Rust, um, which is another thing for me to learn, you know, or I am learning. Um, and then we're going to install Vue to make all that stuff sexy looking where like the cat will, you know, be either shaded out or something um, for other users that are not buying it, but, you know, are curious. I was also thinking like maybe I could put the user handle in it and make it kind of competitive where you can see like who's buying um, the items um, and then you can like harass them <laughs> to try to, you know, negotiate. So we launched it. So let me go back to the website and see if it updated. And this is Chrome. So, I mean, I think it will reset. So it will show it. Yep, there it is. So we're on MollyMatch.com, not on localhost. And it says, enter, you know, all the placeholder stuff's in there. Um, and then next will be the login page. Um, we also have an account. Oops. I need to fix that because that doesn't look very pretty, does it? Um, I'm not, it's doing that because I'm not logged in. So if I log in, and I always forget my password on here. I'm logged in and I click on account edit, it should give me, yeah, so like I have my handle that I can edit and my email. And we have that just because, you know, like I, I do, I make typos. Um, you know, I think, but anyway, so like we got that finished. 